The light beacons in Blancanesa are being replaced as part of adjustments to the Elba shipping channel to ensure that they continue to show ships the correct course to steer. Lighthouses are cool, I like working in a team, and as a construction engineer that's the way you work. The significance of the light beacons along the Elba and the construction of new front and rear lights in Blancanesa. In this edition of Port is what we do. We meet Eva Raba of the Hamburg Port Authority. As project manager, the engineer is responsible for construction of the new light beacons. The new front light tower is being built on a platform next to Blancanesa Pier. The new rear light tower is going up on a patch of land close to the Mühlenberger Yacht Harbour. At over 62 meters in height, the new rear light tower is set to become a real symbol of Hamburg and the port. Yeah, that means it's one of the highest lighthouses in Germany. Ships entering the port of Hamburg use the Blankenese beacons as a guide to navigate the river at this point. It consists of two beacons, the front and the rear lights. You can't see the channel underwater. When I drive my car, I can see the streets and I can see where I can drive. But the channel is part of the river that's been dredged and the banks don't indicate where ships can navigate. So the ships use the light beacons as a guide. They mark the proper bearing, the correct course, which means they'll be navigating in deep enough water. That's why we need these beacons. Und deswegen muss es diese Richtfeuerlinien geben. As part of the channel adjustment work, the shipping channel is not just being deepened, it's also being widened, and that will create a larger passing place for ships between Wedel and Blankenese. It also means the optimal course for ships coming into the port is going to shift southwards at this point. The towers are what are known as range marks. At night, the ships use the flashing lights, and during the day, they line up the red and white towers. To prevent any confusion, the old towers have to be dismantled. They're still operational and will be until we turn on the new ones. The new ones are up, but we still have to install all the electronic systems, which will take a while, and we have to have one set of leading lights in operation. And of course, the new passing place isn't complete, so the old leading lights are still correct. When the passing place is complete and our light beacons are operational, then we'll have to tear down the old beacons, which would otherwise cause confusion. The only question left is, why do people find lighthouses so captivating? I think on the one hand, because they provide orientation. So if I've got lost at sea, I can find my way back when I see one. And the other thing is that red and white against the sky just look so good and reminds people of beach holidays, sun, summer and fond memories. Port is what we do.